Hey everyone, it's Pam. So today I'm doing a review on this sunscreen and it's the Nature Republic Daily Sunblock SPF 50 PA++++ California Aloe Daily Sunblock. And it comes in an orange box. It's a carton and a plastic like squeezy tube. And it has uh, instructions in English and Korean. And on the side, it has some English uh, information. So it just says it's a sunscreen for brightening, wrinkle uh, improvement, and UV protection. And it's a moisture rich daily sunblock that purifies and corrects your skin tone. And how to use, you just take an adequate amount and apply it to uh, the areas that are going to be exposed to the sun um, as the last step of your skincare. And uh, the ingredients are also listed. Now I purchased this on Kaolo.com for like 86 Roman B. And uh, the ingredients weren't listed, everything was in Chinese. I didn't know what the ingredient list was. And after I purchased it, I found out that it does have perfume. Perfume. So on the actual Nature Republic site, it retails for $23.90. Because the packaging looks different. I couldn't find the exact same um, like sunscreen with the exact same packaging. So I'm going to just list what I found down below. On the Nature Republic site, the sunscreen that I think is this one, it just says brightening, wrinkle improvement, UV protection, pink base, and moist. So I do think it's this one because of the ingredients or the, the purposes that it lists. Um, now this one, even though it has fragrance, it does not irritate my skin. It smells like aloe vera. Like, uh, just it has aloe vera, so it really smells like aloe vera, and it has a slight perfumey scent to it. I used it after I found out I had perfume just to give it a try, and I was surprised to find out that my skin really didn't get like rashes. And it does contain 57 milliliters of product, and uh, it has more of like a shine to it, so I think if you have oily skin you probably wouldn't like it. It is very moisturizing. I really like the way my skin feels after applying it. However, I don't like the cast that it leaves. Um, I think the cast that it leaves really, it's more like a brightening effect because the actual sunscreen, I don't know if you can see, but it's actually not white. It looks almost like a salmon color and you just rub it in and it really does rub in nicely to the skin. And it just leaves this really nice like sheen. I really love the sheen. It looks like a glow, especially on my skin type. I have dry skin, so I really love the way it feels. However, I hate that there's fragrance. Even though it doesn't irritate my skin, I'm really trying not to use any fragrance whatsoever. So that's the one issue I have with it. Um, I will demo me applying the sunscreen um, and I did like three layers of it or four I'm not sure and I'll insert that now. Now, under makeup, I'm wearing it under makeup. Um, I think it sits well under makeup. It does give like a nice like luminosity. Yeah, I really do like the sunscreen. I'm not gonna repurchase it though because of the fragrance. I think that if you have a lighter skin tone than I do, then the white cast won't show up as much um, or like that sheen because it's supposed to be for like whitening or wrinkle repair brightening, which I'm not a big fan of that stuff. And it's supposed to help like correct your skin tone. It doesn't correct my skin tone, um, but it does give like a brightening effect. Um, but it's a little bit too white for my skin tone. However, I would recommend it if you are like maybe lighter than me and you don't mind fragrance. And if you really care about that brightening stuff, I personally don't care about it. I don't think it's good for the skin. So it's up to you whether you want to try it or not. Um, so yeah, those are my thoughts. If you have any questions or if I didn't address anything specifically that you would want me to address, just let me know. And I hope this review was helpful in some way or fashion. So uh, 
Yeah, see you next time. Bye.